The cycle time for the Davenport screw machine is controlled by a single gear in the feed box, which is located at the right end of the machine. Cycle times ranging from 1 second to 18.4 seconds on a 75 cycle machine are obtained from changing gears in this gearbox. Cycle time, or seconds per piece, and the feed gear arrangement appear on the bottom of the workpiece layout. The cycle time for this particular piece is 2.9 seconds. We note the feed gear arrangement to be a 48 tooth gear driving through a 60 tooth idler to an 80 tooth driven gear. Cycle times are listed on the feed change gear tables in the Davenport instruction book. Before attempting to change feed gears, power to the machine should be turned off. Looking into the feed gear box, we see our 28 tooth feed change gear driving through the 60 tooth idler to the 80 tooth driven gear, which is constant on all drive arrangements. On faster jobs with cycle times ranging between 1 and 1 1.6 seconds, we will use the 30-60 compound drive arrangement. In this arrangement, the desired feed change gear meshes with the 32 side of the compound gear, while the 62 side of the compound gear drives the standard 80 tooth driven gear. We are now ready to change from using the 60 tooth idler to the 30-60 compound arrangement. Loosen the nut on the feed change shaft and the bolt on the feed change bracket. Disengage the idler gear bracket. Remove the nut, washer, and spacer from the feed change gear shaft. Remove the gear. Mount the spacer on the shaft with the turn diameter forward. Position the idler gear bracket such that it does not interfere with gear installation. Install the gear. Install the washer and nut. Mesh the idler gear with the feed change gear. Tighten the idler bolt and nut. Jobs operating at a slower cycle time will often utilize the 72-24 compound arrangement. These arrangements are listed on the lower half of the feed change gear chart. Note that the feed change gear is always the first gear listed in the feed change gear chart, followed by the idler or compound arrangement, then the 80 tooth driven gear which is a constant. This arrangement will always appear on the layout as it does in the feed change gear chart. Loosen the nut on the feed change gear shaft and the bolt on the idler bracket. Disengage the idler gear bracket. Remove the nut and washer. Remove the gear. Install the new gear. Install the washer and nut. Mesh the idler with the feed change gear. Tighten the bolt on the idler bracket and the nut on the feed change gear shaft.
Looking into the feed gearbox, we now see the feed change gear driving through the 72-24 compound idler to the 80-tooth driven gear.